It is uh, Rise Against on our iHeartRadio album release party. My name is Booker, Tim and Joe from the band. It's a celebration of the release of their new album tonight, Nowhere Generation. We just heard one of the songs, Broken Dreams, Inc., part of the DC comic Dark Knight's Death Metal series score. And God, I hope I got that right. How did that come about? Did they chase you down? What happened? Yeah, uh, Tyler Bates um, was kind of like the curator of yeah. the whole thing. Um, he reached out to us and, you know, just what happened, our record label is putting out the soundtrack as well. And uh, other bands that were a part, like Sepultura's on it. And, you know, we just thought it was a cool thing to do. We were never really a part of the comic world. And it kind of, I think it kind of opened our eyes to that world. And I, I never realized the parallels that the comic world had with like even the punk rock world, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of a reaction to the to mainstream. And, you know, it's like this, this subculture. Um, so I, I thought it was a great fit once I kind of got, got um, I don't know, I guess acquainted with uh, that, that world. Yeah. It was a pleasure to be a part of it for sure. And I, we, were, we were able to, to be uh, in some of the episodes. I was the voice of Nightwing in one of the episodes. Um, so that was interesting. <laughs> How did you do? Rate your performance. Tyler Bates loved loved it. I, I don't, I was, it was very nerve-wracking. And out of all the things we've done, that was by far the – the hardest thing I, I, I've had to do, like, cause, cause it's your own voice. You're like, do I sound mean enough? Do I sound sensitive enough? Like what, I don't even know what I'm doing, but yeah, it was fine. All right. Um, let's talk a little tour action. Um, I have no idea what any band's going to sound like when they get back on the road, they're going to look at these instruments like foreign objects. Um, when, where, what's it look like? Give me something. I don't even remember what I do in this band. Yeah, you play drums. <laughs> okay, I'm the yeah, drummer? Yeah, all, right. Yeah. all right, cool. <laughs> it's all confusing. Uh, we're watching the same news you're watching, and so we're, we're chopping at the bit, you know, to, to get back out on the road and, you know, and play together. I mean, I would be happy just to play together. Yeah. Whether anybody was there or not at this point. This is the longest we've gone in 20 years without playing. Do you think you'll do um, festivals first just to maybe warm up a little bit? Or are you, are you thinking about a big world tour to support this record? Uh, I mean, for us, warm-ups were always kind of small shows. You yeah. know, those were, mm -hmm. that's what we did on the last record. We played a bunch of house of bands around uh, the country. And that I felt like was really cool. Yeah. Because it kind of really, I don't know, it took you right back to like your early days and like, you know, the sweat and the heat and people right up front, you know, that kind of thing. That got me excited to like, do the full 18 month like two year tour that we did yeah but we are we are conspiring over here behind the scenes so we do have something that we're that we're working on so people people okay. hopefully hopefully everything will work out just fine yeah hey guys thanks so much for watching did you like that video you can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.